Are you blue? Are you tired? Tired of doing your workouts at home? Are you depressed about your food choices? Should you stuff your face with peanut butter? Here's the answer. Watch the full video to the end. Riding a bike can help you beat the blues while also provide a good cardio exercise. Doesn't that sound like fun? Good. Keep watching. Let's get started. Cycling has emerged as a wonderful workout for many after months of being cooped up inside our houses while socially avoiding. That was because of coronavirus, the virus from hell. If you hate coronavirus as much as we do, like this video now and subscribe to our channel for more fun and happiness. Our YouTube channel focuses on cycling health and other bicycle related shenanigans. If that sounds like you, subscribe now. Back to the topic at hand. So, you are riding your bike in the neighborhood filled with happiness. You not only get to take a spin around your local neighborhood, but you also get to burn calories. Burning calories is better than burning houses. I mean, get on your bicycle, now. Cycling has numerous advantages. It's a wonderful aerobic workout that raises your heart rate and burns calories while also toning your legs and improving your mental health. It's also a fantastic way to improve your lung capacity. Everyone wants good looking legs. Even me, riding a bicycle will give you those sexy, sexy legs that you have always wanted ever since you were six years old. Sorry, I'm getting off topic here. So, following a strong riding workout, it's important to eat properly to avoid regaining the calories you just burned or feeling weary while pedaling. That would be pointless. After all those calories you burned, you don't want to bring them back, do you? What I want to say is, after you ride your bike for hours, don't order pizza, don't do it. Before you begin cycling, Eat something to help load up your glycogen reservoir so you can keep your ride as near to a full glycogen tank as feasible. Did you know, everything you eat and drink affects how quickly your body converts food into energy. After a long ride, you should replenish your glycogen storage, especially if you plan on cycling the next day. So don't eat pizza before you go on a bike ride. We suggest you eat these instead. Pre-cycling quinoa meal. Quinoa provides twice the protein of a cereal grain and is ideal for providing slow-release energy to cyclists. Quinoa is a bland, somewhat nutty grain that is commonly prepared like pasta or rice. It's also adaptable in that it can be made sweet or savory. Porridge, like mom used to make. Porridge is a great pre-adventure meal for those practice sessions that start early in the day. Eat it a few hours before you ride so your body isn't overworked and you have time to digest it. Other great additions to oatmeal include dried berries, bananas, and jelly. Go bananas! If you're in a hurry and need some quick energy, a banana is a terrific supplement to your diet. The pace with which energy is available is affected by the banana's ripeness. A mature banana can be digested and handled even better than a green banana implying that you drink what you eat and how much impact energy you utilize. Furthermore, the higher the antioxidant level of a banana, the more ripe or yellowed it is. Now, don't slip on the banana peel. Chia seeds, I couldn't even pronounce it correctly. Chia seeds are difficult to come by, yet they can help bikers gain strength. They may be used in almost anything, from puddings to salads and soups, and they don't need to be fried. They can also be mashed into a paste and added to a sports drink to give it an extra boost. A teaspoon has about 60 calories. No wonder they are hard to find. Jesus. Eggs on toast. Now this is what you should eat after your bike ride. Leave the pepperoni alone. After a long run, cycling, or other strenuous cardio activity, eggs on toast are a great way to quickly refuel. Toasts are a good source of carbs, while eggs are a complete protein. If you return home after your trip, you may simply cook some eggs and keep them on hand as a quick source of protein. Go nuts on dry fruits and nuts. Nuts and dried fruits are a great way to start a full dinner after a long ride. Easy carbs that absorb quickly and virtually instantly increase bodily strength and continue to replace glycogen volume to a greater extent than carbon-rich foods. Now, stuff your face with peanut butter. After a bike ride, a snack of peanut butter is a good choice. By mixing carbohydrates and protein, Eat with entire bread or bagel to aid in regeneration. Use all natural or peanut butter only varieties to avoid cholesterol raising fats. It can be consumed as a post workout snack or as a pre workout meal. Chocolate milkshakes, seriously. Milkshakes have an excellent carb to protein ratio of 4 to 1 in most homemade shakes. It's a very useful drink after a bike workout especially if you're exhausted and can't consume carbohydrates right away. Dairy shakes frequently contain a combination of proteins and carbohydrates, as well as fresh berries that can be improved. Adding a scoop of protein to your smoothie is nearly always a good idea. 
Those are the suggestions we are recommending for you if you ever wonder what you should eat before and after your bike ride. There is a video already posted in our channel about the seven foods you should never eat before you go on a long ride. I think pizza is on the list. Anyways, we hope you found this video useful. Hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your support. Thank you and have a great day on the bike.